happy people welcome back to another video um, it is nail therapy Thursday and today I'm going to be showing you all how I got this beautiful set here it's really just like a mint green um, gel polish with a really nice gold detail to it at the cuticle so I thought it was really cute and really simple um, I have an event to go to I just took off my last uh, gel polish set and I just needed to throw something on my nails really quick so this is what I came up with um, I'm gonna show you all what you need to get started here you need just some few basics uh, you'll need a base gel I'm actually using a builder gel this time around um, I actually had um, this fingernail kind of break a little bit um, kind of passed uh, on the nail bed it broke on the nail bed here that was a little crack and I didn't want it to crack all the way through so I used the builder gel just to give it some strength and I kind of like the look of it it gave it just a little bit of thickness so I was like let me just do it on all the nails so you'll need the builder gel or you can just use regular base you will need your color of choice I'm using this color from UR Sugar it's called well the number is 003 and I also have my handy dandy I swear by uh, Beatles top coat. I normally use the Beatles base coat, but I wanted to switch it up this time around. Also, you'll just need cuticle pusher. Whoops, cuticle pusher. Um, these are the uh, cute little uh, gold uh, design I'm using. These right here at the bottom. Um, I actually got this from Shein, and I actually really, really like it. It came with four sheets of like different gold um like nail stickers or whatnot and i this is my first time using i actually really enjoy it so you'll need your nail design a little bit of alcohol oops a little bit of alcohol and then just a cotton pad and then tweezers will be helpful too for placing the um uh placing the gold design so i'm gonna go ahead and hop on in this and get started and obviously you'll also need a lamp but i'm gonna get started with my builder base here and I'm just going to put a really, really, really thin coat on all the nails. And again, it's really just to give it some extra strength. Um, I have already, wait, hold on. Actually, before I get started, I have already um, buffed, shaped, and um, filed my nails. I lightly buffed the surface. So I'm also going to go ahead and really quick and spray my nails with some alcohol to just further dehydrate the nail. Okay. Also, my cuticles have already been pushed back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hop one in this really quick. So I'm going to do a really thin coat of the Builder Gel all over my nails. And again, this is just going to add a little bit of strength and thickness to the nail. And I'm going to be curious to know how long this actually lasts. I saw that this can also be used as a base coat. Um, so I'll be curious to know if it actually works well as a base or not. I normally use my beetles and my beetles. I normally I'm able to get about, you know, anywhere from two to three weeks of wear. I've gotten up to a month of wear from my beetles base coat and top coat. So I kind of swear by that, but just kind of wanted to switch up and use some of my other products and see if they, you know, serve me well also. So there's still just a little bit, oh, there's cotton on here. Okay, so there's still just like a small amount left on the brush. So I'm just gonna kind of put that on the nail. I've, I'm impressed I was able to do all of these nails with just that one dip. And I think it's cause I'm doing such a thin layer. There's lint from my cotton, cotton round on, the, on this here. See, I might be able to get this nail done too. Yeah, it looks like a little good. So the Builder Gel is a little bit different to work with. It's a lot thicker, so you have to make sure you don't lay it on too thick, but also not too thin. to make sure I didn't get anything on my cuticles or edges. Nope. I think it's something on the edges here, so let me wipe that off. Just a little bit right here. And nothing on this one. 
Nothing on this one, nothing on this one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Okay. So that's been cured for 60 seconds. Next, you go in with your color and you'll do two coats of this. Okay, so I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, so that's been cured for 60 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and do my second coat of gel polish. All right, so once the second coat is on, you'll cure for 60 seconds as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like after 60 seconds. Um, I am going to leave the tacky layer on when I apply my um, nail stickers. So I'm going to just take these ones off the bottom here and just kind of loosen it up with my finger and kind of get it off of here. And then I'm going to use my little tweezers to kind of help place it on the nail where I want it to go. And then I just kind of place it down and then adjust where I want it to be. Okay, there we go. So, because um, it still kind of has that little bit of a sticky layer, I just kind of play around with the placement of it until I get it in the right spot. I'm trying to see if I can do it here on camera with you all. Let's see, okay. I'll just move it around until I get it where I want it to be. I want it to kind of be perfect. Okay, so that right there looks really good to me. Like so. So then what I'm gonna do is just kind of press it with my finger, like that. And that's gonna essentially just lock it into place. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead with my top coat 
just to lock it in place. And then I'm gonna flash cure it for like, like 10 or 30 seconds, just so that it kind of locks it in place. Cause I noticed that last time when I did all of them at once and I was doing some, and I tried to do all my nails at once that the top coat was kind of running into the cuticles. And that's because I'm like moving my hand and having it in different directions and such. And so I wasn't able to, um, I had to do a lot of cleaning around my cuticle area. So it wasn't too clean. So I kind of want to avoid that this time around. So just get really close to the cuticle and make sure I kind of encapsulate that with the top gel. Like so, I'm gonna cap my free edge. Ooh, put a lot on there, hold on. It's too much product. Okay, so I just need to go smooth it again. Like so. Okay. And then once it looks nice and smooth, nothing's touching cuticle. I'm gonna just flip it for 10 seconds and then flash cure it for 30. Okay, so this is what the nail looks like after it's been cured for about 30 seconds. And so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same step for the rest of the nails. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just apply the sticker to all the nails and then I'll just take my time putting on the top coats for each of them so that I can make sure they're flash cured and that my top coat isn't runny with it. So again, you just want to take your time and make sure everything is placed properly to your liking. So I want it to be facing this way and I want it, oh, let me see if it's focusing. Okay. Actually, I think I placed it already though. Yeah. So I got that placed where I wanted it. So I'm, all I'm going to do is literally just press on the sticker, let go, and now it should be in place where I want it. And then after that, I'll just cure encapsulate. Actually, I'm gonna move it just a little bit away from the cuticle, mainly so that it can be fully encapsulated when I do put my top coat on. So that's how that one looks. And I'm gonna go through and do that for the next two. And then I'm gonna just press it down with my hand like that. And so yeah, now the rest are ready to just be top coated. So now you just wanna top coat the rest and you'll be all done. So this is a really cute, simple design. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to, like I said, I wanted to throw something on my nails cause I don't have time to do a dip powder set, which is what I really wanna do. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and uh, do some gel polish and I just wanted it to add, to add a little bit of personality to it. So that's why I added the little gold piece there at my cuticle. I've been really into that look lately and I really like it a lot. I think it's really cute and stunning. It's simple yet really like chic, you know? It just spices up the nails. So yeah, and I wanna make sure I get over that sticker so that it's curing, so that it's essentially encapsulated by the top coat. And it's a little hard to do without getting anything on the cuticles. And so just wipe the cuticle area. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I put top coat on the second nail. So I'm gonna just go ahead and finish these off and I will be right back with the finished look.
Okay, so this is how the finished nails look. I'm loving that little gold accent that's at the cuticle of all the nails. So there's only two things left to do. One, I do have to wipe a sticky layer. So my top coat is a no wipe top coat, but um, I think because I use the Builder Base and this You Are Sugar um, gel polish that I need to wipe off a tacky layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. So I'm just gonna spray on all the nails and then just wipe it clean with my cotton pad. And that should get rid of any sticky residue that might be still on the nail. And after that, you just wanna take some cuticle oil to hydrate your cuticles. If there's any areas that you wanna clean up, you can do that before you hydrate your cuticles. I have a, you know, just a couple of little spots here where maybe the um, gel polish got on my skin but that wipes away really easily um, after you wash, either after you wash your hands a few times or, um, you know, if I'm, you know, pick at it here with the cuticle pusher, it'll come right off my skin. So that's not anything I'm too worried about. Um, yeah, that stuff will come off within the next day. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and oil my cuticles and we'll be all done with this set, you guys. Okay, you guys, this is what the finished product is looking like. I absolutely love this set. Loving that nice little mint kind of turquoise green almost. I don't know. It's either mint green or turquoise green. I can't really, I don't really know which one it is, but it's an absolutely stunning color. Well, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know your thoughts on this manicure. Um, I've just been into doing some simple looks lately. Um, I don't know. I've just been in the mood for just something simple and something chic and something cute. So that is what I have come up with. This look right here. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this set. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday videos. So if y'all wanna see some more nail content, definitely come back next Thursday. Um, and yeah, as always, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye! Hello, happy people. I wanted to give you all a quick update on how these nails have been holding up. It is 11 days later and this is what the nails are looking like. As you can see, everything is still intact. I don't have any chipping. I'm sorry, I don't have any chipping and or lifting. The nails are still looking really, really good and still looking really, really healthy. Um, I do plan to keep these nails on for at least two weeks, so at least another three or four days, but I am going out of town today and I just um, wanted to film the nails before I went out of town because likely I'm going to take them off as soon as I get back, so not sure if I'm going to film that or not, but yeah, I just want to show you all what the nails are looking like after 11 days. Um, I do feel like I want to go ahead and switch up my manicure here soon, so here soon, so yeah, you guys, um... I liked having used the um, Builder Gel as the base coat um, as opposed to just like regular gel polish. Like my regular Beatles gel polish will hold up well. Like I said, I've worn that for up to like a month before. Um, but it's kind of nice because it, it gave my nail a little bit more structure. I don't know if you can see from the side, but it gave it just a smidge of thickness and strength that just using regular uh, base gel didn't do. So I might actually switch over to doing this method uh, whenever I do my just regular gel polish nails moving forward. But yeah, um, if you all are interested in trying this method out, definitely highly recommend. But like I said, I love to come back and give you all updates on how nails have been holding up because whenever I'm looking at nail tutorials, I wanna see longevity, okay? Oh, actually, so I had just a little bit of chipping here at the tip of this nail, but I mean, honestly, nothing even noticeable. No one would even be able to tell that that happened, but um, yeah, and also just uh, FYI, so I don't know if you all could tell the difference of color between these two nails or even the shape of the nail. 
So this nail had cracked um, on the nail bed itself and it was slowly growing out. And when I did my regular gel polish, even with the builder gel, that actually is what prompted me to put builder gel on as the base is just to give it a little strength. And it's still, um, uh, I want to say it, it cracked the polish, right? So um, there was like a, a line that showed where the gel polish kind of cracked a little bit. And so I actually went on top of this with some base gel and um, acrylic powder, like dip powder. I did two layers of dip powder and then I did a layer of base coat and then a regular top coat. And so the thickness of this nail is a lot thicker as you can see between these two, but it is a lot stronger though. And I think it did really, really good. So if you can see on the side here, there's like a little bit of clear acrylic still hanging out there. I did that on purpose because my goal was to kind of almost wrap the nail in a sense so that it wouldn't bend or break anymore. But yeah, all that to say, these nails are holding up well, and um, thanks for watching. All right, bye.